In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of the EFL Angel Wings. Now, just some credits before I start. I'd like to credit uh, Jackie from EFL for producing this unique prop. Uh, and also, I'd like to credit Jacob Burris, who was kind enough to play my animations on the actual prop. I don't own the prop, so I will be displaying as well as the images within X lights, what it looks like in real life. Now, initially when the prop was designed, just like a lot of HD props, it, you were really just acting on the full prop. But uh, Jackie did put a few submodels in there and with his blessing, I went ahead and produced a whole host of other submodels, ranges as well that will allow us to do some extra things with this uh, amazing set of wings. So with this in mind, this is now the official set of submodels uh, that uh, Jackie has uploaded as well now. So uh, if you buy this prop, you will have access to all of these submodels. But let's just look at uh, what we can achieve. Now, even though I've done all these effects here, this is only scratching the surface. You'll be able to do a lot more, but it's just giving you an idea. So you can see here, I've got the two wings, but all I'm doing is copying what is on both of the wings here, the, the same effect. So let's have a look at the first one. So you can see here, I'm using the submodel wings inner, second row, third row, outer. But you, as you can see, I'm doing different effects on all of these. And let's just have a look at that. And there you can see, so you can see on these inner wings here, yeah, we've got that marquee effect. And then we've got a bars effect on the next set and the marquee. And then we've got a single line effect, which is creating this pulsing effect here. So that's uh, one thing you can do. Using that same set of submodels, Oh, we're doing something a little bit different now. Okay, so you can see we've got like a twinkling effect on the inner part of the wings and then going out again, but this time using a spiral effect which uh, causes it to spiral around like that. The next effect we're going to look at is here. Okay, and I think that one looks quite special. Uh, and it's just a case of, you know, a single line effect on the outer wings, which is causing this pulsing effect. And then coming down here to the twinkle effect on the inner set and then a spiral effect as well on the real inner set of wings. Now we're going to use a different submodel, which is called wing rings. And this allows us to do things like this. So this is uh, a submodel that goes across the entire range of each wing and we're just doing a pinwheel here and we get that type of effect. Next on the same one we're doing a shader and you know I think that looks uh, quite cool it looks a bit Hunger, Hunger Games Hunger Games esque with the uh, wings of fire and then moving on to those original submodels again Using that same, I should I should tell you which shader we were using there. Yeah, so Fire World, okay, and Fire World here. But you can see by putting that same effect, it can look slightly different because it's it's acting on each individual submodel. So moving on again, okay. So you can see here what we what we've got here. We've got a water effect on these two inner ones. And then on the out, we've got multiple shock waves that will cause it, you know, if we played the full animation, it would pulse continually along that timeline. We're going to drop down now to another submodel called Wings Grouped. And this allows us to do this so we can, you can see we've got a full set of sections here. And we're just doing, as you can see, a single strand effect here. But the world's your oyster with this. Moving on to the next one, we now have got the ones called Wings All. 
and there we can get you know a flapping effect of the wings so pretty impressive as well and then coming on to here a different flapping effect and now we're going to just do an effect on the entire sub model and this is uh, a flame effect okay so that's with no sub models at all that's just on the entire prop okay then uh, we've got one here so here we can see we've got single strand effect but i've got them set to different speeds and if you if we look down the effect here for the single strand effect you see i've got this set to five cycles five cycles then we've got four cycles six cycles and i've got them offset so you get this nice growing effect and then here another one but this is acting upon that full wing rings sub model there we go another flapping effect and then here and then obviously just one here which is just a shimmer effect i've only actually actually applied that to uh the one oh there we go just wasn't rendered so there you can see that's just uh an on effect just with a shimmer then here we've just got a simple marquee effect but different colors of marquee and because it's sub modeled that means we can have different colors in different areas of the wing and there we are again now this is coupling this set of sub models with another sub model so not only have we got the marquee effect we are overriding that with this pulse out effect on the tips of the wings as well and then the next one yep a marquee effect across the entire wing and you notice there i'm using the single line effect uh, render style if we switch to default you see it doesn't really work too well yeah so there it's using the single line effect and what i suggest you do is you know you look through as i'm you know back on the video and you'll be able to see what render style i'm using in different areas uh, but you can always pm me as well and i will can always send you this sequence if need be and then the final one we just got a pinwheel with a butterfly effect underneath okay and you can see the just the default render style there and it just creates this nice little shadow going across the wings so i hope you find this useful and i hope it gives you some inspiration to really get the most out of this fantastic prop used by efl so until next time have a great day